Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel with me Mato. In the previous videos, I made some design with the many school elements with streetwear style. Now I'm gonna to make something even more fun with the dogs, retro biker helmet and the sunglasses. And I'll do have fun this time and hopefully after watch this video you can get some inspiration into your own work. So without further ado, let's begin. Obviously, create new document and let's start with 3000 by 3000 pixels with resolution 300 and I call it Rider T-shirt. As you can see, I have a dog hat, a true biker helmet, sunglasses, and wood smoking pipe. And I imagine some of a dog's hat. I don't know what kind of dog I have it now and he's wearing biker helmet with sunglasses while smoking. Don't worry guys, I put all link download in description so you can download them all and what I'm going to do is combine them all and try to make a cool design with it. So let's go. And of course guys, I use my ultimate move using the holy pen tool to cut out the areas that I don't want and makes my ideas come true with positioning and scale them all precisely with all my patience yep no pain no gain buddy so let's do it Now I'm gonna make a deal with the sunglass to make it pop up with the dog. I show to cut some areas and do some adjustment with that. And to remove the sunglass term, I use the stamp tool. I think this method more easier to play. Just pick the area we want to stamp and then click on the stamp. And boom, the stamp is gone. I use a soft brush to apply that for a smoother result. Now I positioned the smoke pipe right in the mode area of the dog and made some adjustment to make it look pop as if the dog was smoking. I think the helmet color so flat and I want to change the color of it. So I changed the black colors of the helmet to little red color to make the most stand out. Now I'm at the shadow with all image to make it more interesting and unified. As usual, I apply it using a regular soft brush and paint it all over which is opposite to the light source. I'm add the reflection like for the sunglasses too to make it more stunning and cool. I made a random shape following sunglasses contour, change the color mode from normal to soft light to make them blended and erase the edge smoothly using a regular soft brush. Now I made adjustment color to make them all pop together, I try to plan around it, I add a threshold effect and try to combine with the gradient map, play with the blend mode, change the fill and opacity, play with the color balance and change the blend mode again. And try to make more ambient color with the camera or filter, I just try to find the best result for this design, it takes a long time but it's worthy for final touch of my design. Move on to the next step, I pick my text tool, try to make some titles and I type high roller. Actually this is the name of my band guys, 
just come up with random ideas. By the way, the font that I use is called Jazeera by Trua Studio. Seeing the character style of this font, which is handwritten retro look, and I think it fits for the design very well. I put the download link in the description so you can download the same font as mine. Let's dive in. I add the green texture and make gradient red and yellow color to get retro classic looks. I put the link in the description for the crunch texture that I use so you can get it and try to make something cool too. Let's go! After I've got the perfect adjustment to the design, um, I think I'm so happy with it. Considering the design will be applied into black t-shirt, so let's put it into the black t-shirt mockup. Let's go! Well, maybe that's all for making t-shirt design using Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for joining me. If you liked this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, or comment below. Because with that, give me more energy to create and share more videos for you guys. And I'll catch you in the next videos. See you!